we are going to draw the cis and trans structures for but2ene. Cis and trans is about the way things are oriented around the rigid double bond. So let's draw the molecule and see what those things are. But is four carbons in a row. The 2-ene means that there is a double bond starting at the second carbon. Carbon 1, carbon 2, there's your double bond to carbon 3. Now the way that these structures work is you have hydrogen atoms until, or rather, until each carbon has four bonds total. This carbon already has three, so it needs a hydrogen. This carbon needs a hydrogen, and this one needs three others. Now I've already drawn one of the structures by drawing it this way. I've put both of the hydrogens on the top side, or I mean the upper side of this double bond here, because those two hydrogens are on the same side of the double bond. You know, you slice the double bond this way. Both the hydrogens are in this direction. That is the cis isomer. If I redraw the carbon chain, one, two, double bond, to three, to four, and I fill out the hydrogens again. If I put one hydrogen on the top side and one on the bottom side, this is a different configuration. This particular double bond cannot be rotated, and so you can't orient the two hydrogens here. You can't you can't crack it open and turn it so that that hydrogen is on the top side instead of the bottom side. That's why cis and trans isomers only exist for things with double bonds or rings, which also can't be cracked open. So the idea being the cis isomer of but2ene, or if you want me to name it fully, cis but2ene, has both of the hydrogens and, to be honest, both of the methyl groups on the same side of the double bond. I'm going to redraw that in a different way, starting at the double bond, because the way things are oriented around a double bond is at a 120 degree angle. So I'm going to put one hydrogen on the upper side, the other hydrogen on the upper side, cis, same side, and the CH3 groups actually both also end up on the opposite or same side as each other, but opposite from the hydrogens. Similarly, the trans isomer, if we start with double bond here, one hydrogen needs to go upward, the other one needs to go downward. And the same is true for the CH3s. If one is down, the other is up. That is what makes it trans. Hey, I hope that made sense to you. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.